Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you for our time together. I'd like us to look back to the book of Mark 11 today, beginning with verse 11. He's just finished the triumphant entry. It says, He entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. So he, he gave these people an opportunity to repent. He already cleansed the temple once at the beginning of his ministry. And now as he gets ready for the Holy Week revival, that is an amazing study. I mean, when you begin to study the great revival that took place in the courtyards of the temple during that first Holy Week, it, it was not a relaxing resting week for Jesus. Miracles of healing every day, the whole city gathered every day, all the people gathered together to hear him teach. It was an amazing revival week. But come back to down to verse 15. On reaching Jerusalem the next day, Jesus entered the temple area and began driving out those who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the benches of those selling doves and would not allow anyone to carry merchandise through the temple courts. As he taught them, is it not written, my house should be called a house of prayer for all nations. I want you to notice that before Jesus began that last great week of revival, he cleansed the temple. He cleaned out all the corruption. Now there was a reason for that. And you, you can get mad at Jesus if you want and say that Jesus lost his temper and that Jesus had a temper tantrum and that Jesus had a, an anger meltdown. You, you can say what you want. But he drove those people out and kicked over their tables. He gave them time to get out. But when he came back the next day, he cleaned it out. Because he was about to minister there every day for the next week. And he did not want anyone thinking that he had been tainted with the corruption of that place. He did not want his name and his ministry to be tainted with the corruption of those people that were just trying to get money out of people who, sincere people who wanted to come and worship God. She said, I don't want you to think that I'm part of that system. I'm different from that system. I'm going to show you how different I am. I'm going to drive these people out and then I'm going to minister in a clean house. Now sometimes, brothers and sisters, in life, you have to clean house before people understand that you're different. Some of you are taking over departments in your companies, and forgive me, you need to clean house, or people will think that you're just like the last group that came through. You're just as corrupt as everybody else. They'll try to do the same bribes. They'll try to do the same things with you as everybody else, and you just have to clean house. Sometimes you need a clean slate so that people will understand that you're different. Learn from Jesus' example. Your ability to do things is not just determined by who you are. It's by who people think you are, their perceptions. For him to have that city come to him to teach them every day and to heal their sick in spite of all the opposition is an incredible revival move. But it would never have happened if Jesus had not cleaned the slate. 